Surveyor Ashbury works in a prosperous suburban area. His small firm specializes in boundary surveys. There are at least two other firms in the area that compete with Ashbury, keeping prices competitive. Ashbury likes to survey quickly, and his crews understand that time is a constant concern. As he frequently reminds them, surveys pay their salaries. Production has to be high, fast is good, and faster is better. His usual procedure is to preload the deed angles and distances for a given parcel into a data collector and to then set any missing corners. If the crew checks the parcel and finds an existing corner six inches from the computed point, they ignore it, setting a new corner in the correct location and simply labeling it IPF or IPS in the survey, documentation. Ashbury is so certain of his procedures that he frequently shakes his head at the sloppiness of previous surveyors. What were these guys thinking 10, 25, 50 years ago? On a good day, Ashbury can complete at least two such surveys, and sometimes he doubles that number. Ashbury thinks of himself as making a living while doing good work. People purchase land based on title documents, he thinks, and setting corners according to the deed is best practice. Even better, he rarely gets calls from attorneys questioning his meets and bounds. After all, his plans almost always mirror the very deed descriptions they have sent him. What error is Ashbury making? Ashbury never takes the doctrine of the priority of calls into consideration. If there is a mathematical bust in a deed description, Ashbury balances it beforehand on the computer using least squares or simply forcing a bad line. The issue of original monuments is ignored, as Ashbury believes he is actively correcting old survey errors. His plans describe a corner as an IPF or an IPS and do not have a legend defining these acronyms. As we have discussed, this makes them a meaningless notation, but Ashbury is oblivious to this issue. Ashbury is setting himself up for failure and professional admonishment upon the first court suit alleging survey error. Any boundary expert will make Ashbury look incompetent. Boundary retracement is about re-establishing original lines, not marking deed calls. Ashbury ignores this most basic principle and conducts his day-to-day -day business at his peril. If he finds corners that contradict the deed calls, he ignores them, setting corrective corners. He is the epitome of the pincushion surveyor employing state-of-the-art technology in what too frequently becomes the pursuit of highly precise, inaccurate surveying. Speed trumps professionalism, and Ashbury's rationale is always that the corners set need to reflect the deed, regardless of established law and common sense to the contrary.